Uh, praises to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rakak Wadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting a good fight of faith and truth, in sincerity and wholeheartedly, Shalom to the Akwath, which is the women believer, Shalom to you. And um, I came across something, you know, doing some studying, doing some research, and I thought it would be edifying to the flock. So I'm not a scientist. So I simplified it for myself and Lord willing, I'm able to present it. So this is, you know, the mark of the beast, of course, um, 666. This is the Zai of the Chai Zai stigma. So the middle letter, um, we know that Chai, the first letter in the 666 goes back to Christ also means anointed. All right. So this is Zai. We know what stigma is. That's a mark in or on the body. So, but we're going to get that word. I'm going to end it with that. Um, so hopefully this will be edifying. So we're going to read the first paragraph. Zai is the 14 letter of the Greek al alphabet. Upper cases that lower cases, as you see, and representing the voiceless consonant cluster. It is its name is pronounced in modern Greek, generally Zai or Zai in English. In the system of Greek numerals, it has a value of 60, which that is the 603 score. Three score is 60. And it says Zai is der derived from the Phoenician letter of Samak. So, <clears throat> when you go down to the, and it should be quick. I was So I was reading, I was like, I don't know what the hell all this is. I ain't no damn scientist. But as you continue to read, it says something. So the last paragraph is say used in microelectronics. Now, what is an RFID chip? It's a microelectronic. Micro means small. The radio frequency makes it electronic. That's what RF stands for, radio frequency. ID is identification. All right. So used in microelectronics to represent the distance from a PN junction to a point in the depletion region of electric field. So electric field is the electricity around the object. All right. So when you click on this PN junction, it says a PN junction is a boundary or interface between two types of semiconductor material. So an uh, interface, which um, if you ever heard of the brain computer interface, an uh, interface is two computers communicating between each other, you know, sending data, receiving data between each other. That's what an interface is. So a semiconductor is the electrical energy running through an object. So we got the electrical energy around the object. That's the, that's the radio frequency, the electric field, as we just read. And then you have the electrical energy running through the object, which is a semiconductor. And generally it runs off of metal. The RFID chip, it has copper, which is the best conductor of, um, of metal, copper, Silver, gold, lithium, which is in every damn thing. That's the battery, all right? Lithium is in your, your, your phone, you know, your smart TV, all of that. And then silicon. And all of those things that I named are um, metals. So that's where the electrical energy run through. So, and also another thing too, Going back to the um, the Zai. So if you read it like this, 666, right? Chai Zai Stigma. Now, Elder Yashawamba, I think a couple years ago, which I think that video got clipped. I remember him saying something like anointed science, you know, and that makes sense because, you know, um, I was actually looking for that video because I, I, he went in on that video, but I just can't remember it. So I was trying to go look for it. Uh, and I think they clipped it because he was going in. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to take it upon myself 
you know, to do some deeper research. And it makes sense to me because the first word is chai, which is anointed. And then zai, you could say technology or science. So anointed technology implant, because that's what stigma is, a mark in or on the body. So chai, anointed, zai, technology, stigma, a uh, stigma implant. And this is the idol that he's going to try to make everybody bow down to, you know? So I thought this was interesting. So I try to simplify it, you know, as much. Oh, I ain't even read this part. The first sentence down here. Let's see if I can highlight it. Yeah, down here. It said the PN junction are elementary building blocks of semiconductor electronic devices. That's what the radio frequency is. The RFID, the radio frequency identification. So, yeah, so the Lord, he's, he's continuing to open up more understanding on the mark of the beast. This is why you without excuse. So all you false prophets out there talk about the, the mark of the beast is, is sin. The mark of the beast is the golden cup in, the, um, in, in Babylon's hand. You know, the, uh, the cup of full of abominations. That's uh, one point in time. It was white women. So, yeah. This is a physical object that everybody will have to take. <clears throat> so now to end it off of this, and he calls of all both smaller, great, richer, poor, free, a bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. And you see it say in, not on. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that have the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, <clears throat> for it is the number of a man. and His number is six hundred three score and six. So we <clears throat> we talked about what um what chai is. We we just looked up what zai is. We know what stigma is. But I'm still going to get stigma. So when you get stigma. Strong's G4742. Stigma. Stigma. And we got to read the first four words. A mark pricked in. All right. And then but we're going to read the whole thing. It said or branded upon the body. The ancient Orientals usage slaves and soldiers bore the name or stamp of their master or commander branded or pricked cut into their bodies to indicate whose master or general they belong to. This is why you cannot be forgiven if you take this because you literally made your choice to say, you know what, Esau, you are my God. I don't care about Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai talking to you Israelites out there. All right. So this is why you're going to have your head down in the kingdom for however long you, the Lord uh, will allow that, you know, so because the kingdom of heaven is for the Israelites, but also in Ezekiel 36, it said that you're going to loathe yourself. So when you come back into the kingdom, you will have your head down for however long the Lord, you know, deem fit. But yeah, so hopefully this was um, edifying and you can't listen. You cannot say that the mark of the beast is something else outside of something going inside you. All right. So all praises to Yahweh, Ba Shem, Yahweh Shai. Hopefully this video is edifying and shalom.